Please stand and remove your hats for our national anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation, which will be given by Reverend Bill Bernard. Let us pause for a moment of reflection and prayer. Father, we thank you for the minds and hearts of everyone here today, the drive, the tenacity, and the endurance required to finish this season well does not go unnoticed. We thank you for the support of professors, friends, and family to reach this point. Their success has been a team sport, and we're grateful for those who they can lean on. Whether it be computer science, information systems, software engineering, or many other majors represented here, we pray that they are a blessing to those around them. May the blood, sweat, and tears may not be in vain, but produce long-lasting change in our society. May their lives be touched because they have said yes to meet the needs of our cities, country, and world. We, may, we know that these needs will not always be simple or have easy solutions, but we trust that you will provide the strategy, networks, and compassion needed for them to get the job done. We ask when, fr when frustration rises and confusion settles in and funding sometimes runs out, that you would help us to see the bigger picture, that you will always be with them. May they always be available to try again, to research more, and to rest when needed. As they aim for excellence and impact, May they not neglect their own health as well. We ask that you give them joy, peace, patience, and excitement for the road that lies ahead. Use them to be your hands and feet, and may passion drive them to continue under all circumstances. We thank you for being with them and with us now and forever. We ask these and many other blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, and please be seated. Please welcome Dr. Paul Jensen, Executive Vice President, Nina Henderson Provost, and University Professor of Drexel University. Good evening. What a beautiful evening. Welcome, everyone. And of course, welcome to the class of 2023. This milestone moment that you have been working towards for years is here. Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the College of Computing and Informatics. Let's hear it for our graduates. I also want to take a moment to applaud the family, the friends, and the mentors that have helped you along your journey. So a round of applause, please. Graduates, we are also proud of your accomplishments. Even more so, we are proud of the extraordinary people that you have become. Each of you has grown since the first moment you stepped on campus. You have been shaped by new ideas and perspectives. 
pursued challenging academic and professional experiences, formed bonds and communities, and made your own innovative and creative contributions. And now, a new chapter is opening. People you have not met yet will benefit from the experiences and insights you've gained, and you will continue to evolve as you remain curious and open to the world around you. So this is truly a special day. I also want to extend a warm greeting to our commencement speaker, Rick Raboli, Executive Vice President and Chief Technology Officer of Comcast Cable at Comcast Corporation. Rick is an Emmy award-winning award -winning telecommunications leader. Uh, Mr. Raboli has driven critical strategic initiatives in customer experience, digital first, data privacy, and artificial intelligence, and has been named a Forbes CIO Top 50 Innovative Technology Leader. I know he will have many insights to share with all of you. Uh, so Rick, I look forward to your remarks, uh, and I also look forward to the remarks of all our speakers today. In closing, one last word to our graduates. Continue to seek opportunities to grow and to be bold, empathetic leaders that you have shown yourselves to be. Also, please stay connected to us. We will be eagerly awaiting to see all the great things that you are going to accomplish. Congratulations, class of 2023. Please welcome the Dean and Isaac L. Arbach Professor, College of Computing and Informatics, E. Dang. Thank you. We are gathered here today on Nulapeg Noki, land that once was and still is sacred to the Nulapeg people. It is here that the people called the grandfather tribe and the peacemakers have lived here their lives, spoken their language, and held their ceremonies for thousands of years before being subjected to removal and colonization through cultural suppression and erasure. In honor of them, let us pause in a Lunape way remembering where we are, who we are with, to remember to be one mind and one heart with all our relations, to remember the ancestors and to walk softly and carefully on our Mother Earth. With these thoughts, all right actions follow. Eho, thank you. On behalf of the College of Computing and Informatics faculty and professional staff, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2023. It is with great pride and joy that I stand here today to celebrate you our graduates. You have worked hard, overcome incredible challenges, and accomplished so much to get this point. Although your studies at Drexel have ended, today we celebrate the beginning of a new and exciting chapter for you. I'm sure that you are feeling a lot of mixed emotions today, and I perhaps are reflecting on the past few years. You no doubt witnessed unprecedented challenges and changes in our world during your study at Drexel, including the global COVID-19 pandemic. This year, we saw the meteoric rise of the artificial intelligence with AI-powered chatbots like ChatGPT. 
At the same time, we saw some major technology companies cutting back due to overhiring in the last several years and resulting in a wave of layoffs. As you enter the job market, you may have concerns about the current health of the tech industry. But despite the slowdown, we know that the demand for information and technology professionals continues to rise. According to recent reports, the tech industry is expecting to continue to grow in the coming years, with demand for tech talent greatly overstripping the supply. Because in the age of digital transformation and AI, every industry has become or is becoming a technology industry. You, our graduates, are what the world has been waiting for. Your Drexel education, including the li real life experiences and connections you have gained during the co-ops, capstones, and senior projects, have set the course for remarkable and fulfilling careers in the areas of highest industry demand. You are leaving Drexel not only equipped with technical skills and knowledge in your chosen field, but also with the ability to adapt and the problem solve. Your education at Drexel have provided you with a strong academic foundation, but it has also taught you how to think critically, working collaboratively, and communicate effectively. These are the skills that are in high demand in the tech industry and beyond. As you move forward, I want to remind you that your education does not stop here. Our digital economy is constantly evolving, so you will need to continue building upon the skills you gained while at the Drexel throughout of your career. I encourage you to stay curious continue seeking knowledge and take advantage of every opportunity to learn and to grow. As digital transformation and advanced technologies like AI continue to grow, you are offered a wide range of opportunities to develop your careers in any chosen field, but also the opportunities to shape our future society. These technologies carry awesome power for good, but also brings high risks and potential downside. As future scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, industry captains, and leaders, I hope you will take these responsibilities seriously in helping to maximize the positive impact on modern techno information technology to benefit all people, while also managing and mitigating any risks. Among the class of 2023 today are students who have personally contributed toward CCI's collective success. I would like to take a moment to recognize and thank our student leaders for their contribution to our community. We are all CCI course assistants, teaching assistants, peer mentors, and dean's ambassadors. Please rise and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. During today's ceremony, I'm honored to share the stage with your class of 2023 student speakers, Vivek Himani and Anka Scarlett. It is also my distinct privilege to share the stage with today's commencement speaker, Rick Rioboli, Executive Vice President and Chief Technology officer of Comcast Cable. In closing, please know that we, our university, our college, 
our faculty and professional staff will always be here for you. I encourage you to stay connected and take advantage of the Drexel community and our vast global network of alumni in your future pursuits. I think I can confidently speak for all our faculty and professional staff when I say it has been an honor to teach you, to collaborate with you, and to learn from you. Now go and make a positive impact on the world. We're rooting for you. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Go Dragons! It is now my pleasure to introduce Vivek Himani, who is graduating today from the College of Computing and Informatics. Vivek will address us on behalf of the undergraduate class of 2023. Faculty and staff, fellow graduates, and honored guests, I'm deeply grateful to the College of Computing and Informatics at Drexel University for selecting me as one of the student speakers for this year. Of course, I have a lot to say because it's been years of learnings and experiences that I'm tr trying to summarize in three minutes. But before beginning, I would like to specifically talk about my parents. My parents never went to a college and they don't really understand English but they decided to fly almost 8,000 miles today, all the way from India, just to hear me talk. <laughs> the most of which they might not even understand. In fact, after a ton of flight delays and cancellations and almost spending last 58 hours at the airport, just, they just got to Philadelphia like an hour ago, and here they are. Today, I would like them to know that, the, that the, your love and support mean the world to me. So thank you so much, Mom and Dad, for everything you have done for me and being here with me to celebrate. Love you both so, so much. Great. Speaking about my parents really brings me to my first talking point. Growing up, my parents did everything they could to give me a great life back home. But one thing that they never did was to tell me what to do. There were times when I would feel lost, had to make decisions, and wished that I could talk to them, but I couldn't. And then had to make all those decisions by myself make mistakes, own them, and fix them in the future. I never really valued this until I came to college all the way from India, but I had to make decisions all the time. Should I be roommates with this person? Should I move to this new city? Should I take this job? Should I text this person? And so on. I still don't really know the right answers to all of these questions, but at least I was never afraid to try, make mistakes, fail, and fix them in the future. The reason I bring this up today is as all of us leave college, we won't have classes or professors to tell us what to do. We'll be out there in the wild, and I'm sure Drexel has exactly trained us to do that. So let us go out there, try things, do what we love, and maybe even fail. The fun fact that I recently learned is that one week is 2% of the entire year, and that's a lot. So don't put off things you love until tomorrow and start it today, as that's all we have. Next, I wanted to talk about something that a lot of us might be worried about today, including myself. A lot of us might be moving to different cities and are anxious about leaving family, college friends, or making new ones. And the only thing I have to say is to surround yourself with people who let you be a nerd. 
I know. I know the word nerd has historically been used as a negative connotation. But I consider myself as a squash nerd, a CS nerd, a backend nerd, a Chipotle nerd, an El Taco nerd, and what not. The idea is to surround yourself with people who let you be yourself and support you to do the things you love because that's the only way to be happy on a day-to-day -day basis. In fact, few of my favorite memories at Drexel will of course be all the competitive squash I have played through college, being a TA and holding office hours with my friends, and pulling an all-nighter with some of my best friends for the CS164 finals without realizing that it's only going to get worse from here. Today, I'm very, very thankful to all the friends I've made at Drexel, as they've always embraced the nerd inside of me and let me be who I am today. In conclusion, while my experiences may not resonate with everyone, I hope they offer some insight and inspiration. Let us all embrace this exciting, intimidating, and perhaps overwhelming moment as we celebrate our hard work and achievements. Take a moment to breathe, congratulate yourselves and the ones around you, and enjoy this wonderful evening with friends and family. Thank you once again for listening, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you for your remarks and congratulations on your graduation. It is now my pleasure to introduce Anka Scarlett, who is graduating today from the College of Computing and Informatics. Anka will be addressing us on behalf of the undergraduate class of 2023. graduates of the class of 2023. Today is the day we'll remember for the rest of our lives. As we stand here, we're not only celebrating the end of this academic journey, but also the beginning of a new chapter filled with endless possibilities. And what an amazing journey it has been. We come from different backgrounds, cultures, and countries, but we share a common bond, a passion for technology. We have worked tirelessly, overcoming challenges and obstacles along the way, especially in the face of social unrest, the pandemic, natural disasters left and right, and not to even mention the quarter system. <laughs> As an international student from Romania, I am proud to stand among such a talented and diverse group of graduates. We have all contributed to each other's growth, development, and learning. Today, let's not only celebrate our individual accomplishments, but also the power of our collective achievements. Let us take a moment and reflect on what we have achieved and the incredible potential that lays ahead of us. We have spent countless hours studying, writing code, joining Zoom calls, taking COVID tests, or applying for co-ops. We put our in-person contact on pause for a while but we have shown remarkable determination in achieving our dreams despite the odds. I also want to take a moment to recognize the important role that our family and friends, as well as our mentors, advisors, and professors have had on our personal and academic growth. Their support, guidance, has been invaluable in helping us reach this milestone today. To the loved ones watching us from home, and to those here in the audience, thank you for being our biggest cheerleaders, for celebrating our successes, and for being there during the tough times. To my parents and family watching us from Romania, mulțumesc mult, vă iubesc. As we move forward in our career, I want to remind you that success is not only about what we achieve, but also about how we impact others. I want to emphasize that the future is truly in our hands. Graduates, I challenge you to imagine a world where everybody has access to the tools of computing and informatics. And then, let's go out there and make that vision a reality. 
Let's paint the world with the colors of our creativity, with the hues of our passion, and with the brush strokes of our dedication. The future is in our hands, so let's go make it a masterpiece. The technology we build and the decisions we make will shape the world we live in for generations to come. We must be mindful of the consequences of our action and how they impact society. As we move forward in our careers, let us remember to embrace our differences, respect each other's opinions, and work together towards a common goal, the one of ensuring that this technology is accessible, equitable, and used for the greater good. The world needs leaders like us who are committed to making and using technology for a positive change. So I urge you to take this responsibility seriously and approach your work with humility, empathy, and a willingness to listen and learn from each other. As we move forward, let's remember the wise words of Tony Stark as he first takes off in his new suit. Sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. So let's run out there and make a difference in the world with our computing and informatics skills. I cannot wait to see what we will all achieve in the years to come. Congratulations again, class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you for your remarks and congratulations on your graduation. Dr. Karen DeVos will now acknowledge those students who have received special recognitions from the university. In the spirit of honoring exceptional achievement, we wish to recognize our undergraduate students who have completed their degree with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. I would like to ask Justina Doan and Mohammed Eldamoman to come forward and be recognized. <laughs> Congratulations. Each year at commencement, we present the Harold W. Polt Behind Every Graduate Award, named for the late Drexel trustee. This award recognizes excellence in secondary school teaching and selections are made based on nominations by graduating students. I would like to recognize Sister Alice Hess from Archbishop Ryan High School, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and ask nominating student Eileen Morose to stand and be recognized. Congratulations. I would like to recognize those undergraduate students who have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement at Drexel as reflected in outstanding final grade point averages. Students who graduate with a GPA between a 3.5 and 3.7 are designated cum laude or with honor. Will cum laude graduates please stand? Those graduating with a GPA between 3.7 and 3.9 are designated magnum cum laude or with outstanding honor. Will our magnum cum laude graduates please stand?
students graduating with a GPA of 3.9 or higher are designated summa cum laude or with highest honor. Will our summa cum laude graduates please stand? Congratulations to all of you. The Drexel University Graduate College Outstanding Dissertation Award is presented by the Graduate College to doctoral students who have written original, innovative dissertations that reflect great research or have or are likely to be disseminated widely and have significant impact on the field and society. Please join me in congratulating Dan Shoflin on receiving this award. Congratulations to you, Dan. Finally, Drexel has a long tradition of participation in programs with United States military. I ask everyone in the audience today who is a member or veteran of the armed forces to stand and receive recognition for your service. Thank you. And now, please welcome Rick Riboli, our keynote speaker, to the podium. Thank you, Dean Deng, for the honor to address this group. And to the CCI graduating class of 2023, Congratulations. It's a great achievement, and you should all be very proud. I've had the privilege to partner with Drexel CCI over the last several years in many ways. I helped hire co-ops and graduates, created custom master's programs for Comcast employees with Dean Deng, participated on the Dean's Executive Advisory Council, and judged at your hackathons, which by the way, the last one on artificial intelligence was absolutely amazing. You were all great. And throughout all those experiences, what struck me the most is the passion and the talent of the students, the professors, and the staff at Drexel. And speaking of artificial intelligence, I want to answer the question that may be on many of your minds right now. And the answer was yes, I did use ChatGPT when writing this speech but not in the way that many of you students used it over and over and over again this semester. Um, I did something different, and let me tell you how I used it. I wrote my draft speech first, and then I compared it to ChatGPT's speech. And what I found was about half of the content was pretty similar. And at first that felt kind of good, because I felt like I was on the right track and I had the right idea. But then something weird happened. And I, I started to get very competitive. This competitive urge came over me. And I found myself going head to head against a chatbot on who could write a better speech. And it was ridiculous, and, and, um, but I couldn't help myself. And so this is our new world. Are we going to, are we, how are we going to figure out whether AI is our humble assistant, whether it's our competitor, or whether it's our enemy. And right now, history is being made. History as dramatic as the invention of the PC, the dawning of web browsing, and the first mobile phones. That's how meaningful and exciting the growth of artificial intelligence is right now. At Comcast, we've been using AI for over 15 years in many parts of our business, including our video products, our voice remote, our network, and cybersecurity. But the threshold we're now crossing is something totally different. The new capabilities being unleashed with generative AI have created an inflection point that I've not seen in a very long time. Many of the technology companies I work with every day are racing to bring technology solutions to market faster than their competitors. 
and venture capital money is flooding into this market. AI is already starting to impact every aspect of computing technology. The way we write and test and operate our code, the architecture of cloud computing, and the design of the silicon chips that are being used to train and execute our AI models. It's even changing the way people think about power distribution, since power may end up being the limiting factor in building the vast server farms that are needed for AI. So this is such an incredible time for all of you to be graduating from Drexel in the area of computing. And to be honest, I'm a little jealous because you are gonna be entering the workforce at a time when the career possibilities are both amazing and limitless. And while this is all very exciting, at the same time, it can be daunting because the opportunity comes with tremendous responsibility. Chances are that many of you sitting here today will be making decisions that will determine whether AI will bring more fairness and equity to society or whether it will amplify existing biases and exacerbate division. Whether AI will make our lives more productive and fulfilling or it will automate away our meaningful work. And how you ultimately manage this awesome power will either protect us and make us safer or expose us to cyber risks. You and your generation of technologists, in my opinion, will more profoundly impact the future of humankind than any other generation in history. Think about that for a minute. It's both exciting and a little bit scary. And that's why it's crucial that you operate with a deep sense of ethics and responsibility as you develop and deploy AI technologies. Make sure that the benefits that you create as part of your work are distributed fairly and equitably across society. And equally important, ensure that the potential risks and unintended consequences are carefully considered and mitigated. Okay, so now that I put the future of all humankind on your shoulders and you're all hiding underneath your chairs at this point, I'd like to give you some practical advice to take along your journey. I spent my first five years out of college in IT support jobs, where I was literally climbing under desks, fixing networking problems, and repairing computers. I never imagined I'd be the CTO of a Fortune 30 company, and to be honest, it wasn't even the plan. And while it's hard to put my finger on exactly what changed my tra trajectory, there are three areas that stand out to me the most, two of which have served me well, and one I wish I had learned sooner. So the first is that I rarely ever chased titles or money. They always came later. What I did chase were opportunities for hyper-learning. And what I mean by hyper-learning are bursts of learning that can only come from new on-the-job experiences. Often I took the opportunity to jump into something I was not fully prepared or qualified to do, but someone gave me the opportunity, usually because there was a void and they didn't have a better option. And to be clear, these were not glamorous roles. Sometimes I was filling a temporary role that someone had just left, or I was diving into an area that was a total mess and I took on a whole bunch of work without any additional money. And each time I jumped into these hyper-learning opportunities, I was very uncomfortable. I experienced imposter syndrome and felt inadequate in my role for a while. But I also learned that there's one cure for imposter syndrome, and that is extra hard work and lightning fast learning. Each of these opportunities stretched me in ways that I would never have experienced if I had stayed comfortable in my current role. And listen, I have nothing against being comfortable. Comfort is great when it comes to shoes and sofas and beds, but not when it comes to your career. Many of you will feel uncomfortable when you start your first jobs. That's good. Welcome it. Embrace it. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's hyper-learning. Keep chasing these opportunities throughout your career, and you won't regret it. Second, you're going to make a lot of decisions in your life 
and some of those are going to be major decisions, and some of those are going to be minor decisions. But the quality of those decisions are going to impact your life significantly. So you should develop an approach that helps you consistently make thoughtful decisions. An approach that's helped me a lot over the years is a visualization technique that I use that's called, that I call playing the movie forward. What I do is I step back and emotionally detach myself from the situation. And then I visualize how a scenario will play out over time as if I was watching a movie. I look at it from multiple camera angles and I consider multiple scenarios until I find a path that ends the way I want. It's been super helpful my entire career and has helped me make some of the best decisions in my life. Finally, my last piece of advice to you I'd wish I'd learned earlier in my career. Over the years, I've come to the conclusion that technology is easy, people are hard. You are all sitting in your seats today because of your intelligence, your hard work, your dedication to learning and education. But in the working world, emotional intelligence, or EQ, is equally important, and sometimes it's actually more important than your IQ. EQ is the ability to recognize your emotions and the emotions of those around you, and to use that awareness and understanding to guide your behaviors. It turns out that technology is a highly collaborative sport. So having abilities such as cultivating empathy, developing trust with others, collaborating, managing through conflicts, and influencing others are invaluable in every team in every company. One of the things I often say to the leaders the technology leaders at Comcast is your IQ got you to where you are today, but your EQ will determine where you go from here. Now the good news is, is that EQ can be improved with both knowledge and practice. So my advice to you is work on your EQ. Start by reading about it. Become more aware of your emotions and the impact they have on others. Try being more empathetic and putting yourself in other people's shoes. Proactive, practice proactive listening, or active listening when interacting with others by putting your phone away and giving them your full attention. And finally, practice having social awareness by paying attention to the emotions and needs of those around you. If you develop your EQ, it'll greatly help your career and make you a better person in life. So let me close by saying, I couldn't be more excited for what the future holds for all of you. You're at the right place at the right time. This is a scenario that people often dream of. Chase opportunities for hyper-learning every chance you get. Make thoughtful decisions. Develop your EQ. And above all, enjoy the journey. Congratulations and good luck. On behalf of everyone at the College of Computing and Informatics, I thank you. It is now time to individually recognize all of our graduates assembled here today. The names of our graduates will be announced by Professors Adelaida Medlock, Colin Gordon, Wimor Key, and Dario Salvoci. Out of respect to all of our graduates, we request that you remain in your seats until all names have been called. Will the marshals please escort our doctoral graduates to the stage to receive their hoods? The supervising professors and dissertation titles can be found in the program.
Levi Kaplani Maharaj. Samantha Grabus. Michal Monsalis. Daniel Shefflin. <laughs> Mariam Daniali. Congratulations to all of our doctoral recipients. We would now like to recognize the students who are completing both a bachelor's and a master's degree today. Would those students please stand to be recognized? Marshals, will you now please escort our master's students to the stage for individual recognition? Richard Enten, Michael Moorhead, Nima Huisa, Rani Maria Sahajian, Raymond Ang. Matthew Christie, Kuzai Masong Kahane, Apa Fudar, Sai Ventana. Srini Vasan, <laughs> Christian Chang Oriente, <laughs> Leslie Pace, <laughs> Laura Mason Helder, <laughs> Akshay Kapoor. Jade Jackson, <laughs> Kelly Trustel, <laughs> Manila Jangala, <laughs> Pujang Babasar, <laughs> Mithila Chintala, <laughs> Alexandra Marilyn. Bartley, 
Lee Scott, Omar Chavali, Alexandra Fimfer, Stephanie Carrier, Kate Lindbergh. Nisha Mystery, Connor Heffield, Katie Teitelbaum, Kriti Bartaria, Brian Duke. Victoria Bonelli, Maria Henry, Ania Williams, Kerwin Trum, Aviv Faraj. Ifteka Rahman, Nicole Ichan, Dave Welsh, Justin Minion, Katie Matala, Matula, John Johnson. Kersley J. Toll, Alison Gong, David Halloran, Andrew Sennin, Patrick Artek. Nate Hubler, Istiak Sharia, Aaron Gangji, Jennifer Wyant, C. Chen, Ten. Wayne, Ashley Wheeler, Ron Tassoni, Robert Shibley, Lauren Treyback, Alice Marie Conyer. Eric Bonavon, Eric Harrison, Catherine O'Hale Krebs, Karina Ortiz Gomez, Sydney Moore. Kendra Dobson, <laughs> Rohan Vukalom, <laughs> Ashley Brohr, <laughs> Tina Sheraf, <laughs> Samuel Pfeiffer. Abhijit Peru, <laughs> Ashley Moore, <laughs> Dylan Dyson, <laughs> Akensha Rao, 
but then bathe. Chuanling <laughs> Shi. Zhu Jun Yang. Aditi Salunke. Yash Patel. Karthik Narasimhan. Yeah. Karthik Vora. Grace Sigala. Nicole Edens. Drew and Dolly. Rohit Jandram. Mantik Lee. Olus Wasai Michael Oishiku. Nikio Mutuven Katesh. Grant Gamichi. Connor Roth. Jared Rubin. Uma Hassam. Jacqueline Glasson. Jinu Lee. Makwachuku Ukulo. Steffi Tapsoba. Michael Visco. Kevin Wu. Jaden Yoshikawa. Mary Villafuerte. Medi Rejai. Mangesh Raut. Kuno Chabria. Jiren Philip. Sri Rekha Rajendran. Brinda Kalkarni. Himanshu Rothold. Deepak Bikolia. Semyak Jain. <laughs> Disha Singh. Martin Matthew. Regard Asiri. Congratulations to all of our master's graduates. Marshals, please escort our bachelor's graduates to the stage for individual recognition. Vivek Kimani. Anka Scarlett. Justina Dawn. Eileen Moros. Mohan.
Mohammed Abdel Mumin. Kyle Cook. Leonardo Manuel Santana. Kobe Witiopo. Dior Gafatulin. Faraz Irfan Khan. Ryan Williams. Peter Wynn. Ishmael Bynum. Samantha Simon. Olivia Siriani. Magnus Jorlison. Luke Matheson. Anthony Lan. Reed Fleming. Aiden Doris. Stephen Liriano. Andrew Strumminger. Nicholas Bugby. John Colenda. Jeremy Slavin. Eleanor Beekman. Madison Orr. Noah Richardson. Marshall Tran. Ems Nur. Hassan Mohammed Al Mamari. Khalid Salem. Jared Durkin. Dominic White. Josh Lucen. Peter Hahn. Jamie Officer. Thomas Kava. Daniel Campbell. Peter Glenn Alexander Wainwright. Adam Wilzinski. Emma Carton. Brian Conctalvis. Avery Deemer. Ricky Tang. Jason No.
Justin Moore. Sandy Yang. Linda Rong Zhang. Christian Pedro. Mackenzie Kaiser. Safa Sikdor. David Stone. Shub Lakani. Austin Engelhardt. Nicholas Alfano. Logan Kramsky. Riley Honorado. Daoud Chowdhury. Matthew Dulisse. Nathan Malenfant. Vincent Eric Savarisi. Foshram Nier. Justin Baldwin. David Gordon. Gordon Samuel. Samina Imran Shaikh. Jack Coy. Brendan Habib. David Linskins. Jason No. Go. Hussein Mustafa. Scott Lysky. Ankit Trehan. Samuel Chai. Sean Ree. Trey Fairbrother. Mike Mariano. <laughs> Nicolas Pelletier. <laughs> Aisha Mubashir. <laughs> Saida Kalem. Payal Patel. <laughs> Abdullah Shah. <laughs> Michael Vincent Gambo. Matthew Kirschheimer. Justin Wen. Rahil Patel.
Rand Patel. Jason Liu. Neil Kanakia. Pranap Bogal. Arpit Paranpe. Aditya Jaswal. Kiran Claus. Cody Ruth. William Tran. Elijah Roberts. Mason Miller. Griffin Salinger. Madeline Bright. Aaron Talabis. Alexander DeVito. Sharon Yo. Mahin Mia. Dilang Nagel. Michelle Peel. Cameron Lund. Aidan Schilling. Austin Shea. Brandon Lee. Jackie Young. Cameron Fritz. Benjamin Timothy Shapiro. Jacob Van Dyne. Andy Check. Jackie Huang. Sarah Yang. Kiara Isabel Paredes de Leon. Justin Young. Ray Jasinski. Kevin Kim. Parker Canton.
Nathan Bibi. Manal Samir Patel. Ronak Barath Patel. Vani Patel. Sung Win. Maxwell Sullivan. Daniel Magehi. Hong Lu. Evan Din. William Carroll. Daniel Sutler. Erin Marie Santos. Vegan Leroy. Andrew Hagelton. Alexander Yi. Cleverina Kong. Richard Lee. San Lu. Albert Leon. Josh Young Lee. Su Jing Bang. Matthew Tang. Wing Shan JCU Yi Yang Jonathan Morenci Sophia Moma. Umaro Uday. The Soshi of Four. Anthony Isay. Alexia Scott. Georgia Marie Adu. Zachary Kaiser. <laughs> Zui Wen. <laughs> Su
Cedric Fitzgerald. Petro Krivdyuk. Rafe Ahmed. Eric Savoy. Garrett Kamala Creighton. Andrew Olenek. James McPeak. Hunter Bentley. Nicholas Chen. Kazaya DePanta. Dilmaya Poon. Shay Seal. Sidant Nayur. Ryan Sharesta. Ute Jane. Hovni Singh. Andrew Robert Maxwell. Stefano Arnone. Cole Todd Honer. Stephen Kearns. Brady Wildshin. Amonjot Singh. Woo! Ao Wang. Woo! Daniel Lee. Sean Dembeck. Tristan Holub. Irving Finocci. Zhang Hang Li. Ethan Budzinski. Kevin Bunn. Adiskadan Tesfe. Joshua Jacob. Jonathan Visa Namir. Mark Melkumyan. Ryder Rose. Armand Pawa.
Syria Ramanathan. Smriti Kriyapal. Sadanshu Singh. Jack Wheeler. Adeshiwa Adeshida. Brian Uwa. Tyler Lay. Afrid Karim. Jeanette QB. Andrew Schaffler. Joshua Lee Ramos. Summer Beasley. Anj Chandani. Gurleen Singh. Sayash Rane. Darius Grosh. Michael Donahue. Grant Fecto. Thomas Harrison. John Gillick. Mai Tron. Jessica Jang. Leland Lee. Alan Tsai. Adrian Chung. Tia Ledowski. Sarar Asir. Piers Walsh. Mark Prosnell. Henry Pulley. Seamus Salahat Corbett. Matthew Isaac Kleiner. Mohammed Mohammed. Sina Amadi. Max Simmons. Jovan Kwaku.
Het Amen. Yihau Zen. Yantian Ding. Jian Cheng. Josh Mayank Shah. Sujoy Bose. Ha Jun Lee. Ashraful Abid. Alex Hung. Jackie Chen. Kai Fan Zhu. Sharon Shah. Erica Chen. Peter Chong. Anne Tran. Min Vo Kok Nien. Hong On Fan. Hugh Duan. Lin Vu. Gada Gudzez. <laughs> Tapusya Sharma. Huang Wen. <laughs> Logan Diliberto. Akshay Lula. <laughs> Christian Kraft. <laughs> Carson Miller. <laughs> Clayton Falciani. Badrudrin Ali. <laughs> Ali Turjan. <laughs> Austin Kears. <laughs> Ria Penner. Thomas Madden. <laughs> Leo Chan. <laughs> Dahidul Islam. Mohammed Hassan. <laughs> Fujat Alam.
Tyler Hooper. William Roberan. Harrison Beerley. Ling Lee. Ogonati Me Okotaye. David Nana Jumon Sapon. Evan Pugh. Johnson Wu. Joseph Herman. Theodore Cordon Williams. Victoria Mortensen. Jessica Kunalata Ja. Guadalupe Fernandez Nunez. Yashoda Ravi Chandran. Yung Sang Lee. Eric Schuyler. Gang Ha Thi Pham. Sadik Basin. Eden Marie Fry. Lillian Dorlane. Nikhil Parak. David DeBellis. Huang Luong. Nam Lee. Micah Beiser. Katarina Galek. <laughs> Alina Bushma. Colin Fowler. Daniel Young. Mohammed Humay Mustajab.
Grace Feldman. Yi Pan. Hauran Zhao. Ya Chong Chen. Si Yang Di. Tak An Vu. Dat Duong. Tui Bao Chao Ho. Gian Do. Hey Tom Taluli. Victoria Tokar. Juan Ta. Jia Kam Pham Tran. Ola Yinka Badmus. Miriam Majid. Neil Mayer. Mohammed Atik. Ari Wen. Ray Wu. Hong Wen Do. Abigail Boyle. Ryan Marco Becchio. Ruday Bay Ragray. Kirutik Sai Balasumra Mana Nyang Kanaga. Congratulations to all of our bachelor's graduates. That's a lot of handshakes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one more round of applause for all of our graduates. In this ceremony, we have paid tributes to the graduating class of 2023. 
Now, it is the graduates' turn to salute those who have helped them along the way. I would like to ask the parents, spouses, partners, and children, and loved ones of our graduates to please stand so that they may receive the thanks they so richly deserve. Please be seated. Now, I ask the members of the class of 2023 to salute their professors and mentors at the Drexel University. We are all members of the faculty and administration to please rise. Please be seated. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're excited to continue graduation activities on Friday, June 16th, with the university-wide commencement at the Citizens Bank Park, beginning at 5 p.m., where all degrees will be formally confirmed. When our ceremony ends, Please stay in your seats until the graduates and the stage party have left the stage and recessed. Once again, congratulations, graduates!